In this section, I'm going to talk about Gorilla Proofing the 6 liter Power Stroke Ford diesel engine. If you're familiar with my YouTube videos, uh, deal with Bullet Proofing the 6 liter. Um, it's a series of upgrades to the 6 liter engine. Uh, deal with head gaskets, replacing the factory head bolts with studs, uh, EGR cooler replacement, oil cooler replacement, uh, and an upgrade in tuning and whatnot. Go look at those videos. I encourage you to look at the Bulletproof video and then this will make more sense to you. The Gorilla Proof concept is taking the Bulletproof idea to a different level. All the items that I have listed here are additional upgrades to the Bulletproof process. I'm going to go through this list fairly quickly, then I'm going to go through item by item, and then I'm going to come back and talk about cost. One of the big things that you can do to stabilize your head gaskets even more is to o-ring the heads. With the bulletproof package I give a one year warranty, but with o-ringing I give a two year warranty. Second thing is regulated fuel return. A uh, huge upgrade in terms of performance and economy. The coolant bypass procedure is an often overlooked option in terms of additional cooling capacity. Mission motor radiator is a huge upgrade. Great big aluminum radiator that uh, allows the engine to recover quicker especially under hard pulls. Banks intercooler, a uh, huge upgrade in terms of intercooler, uh, especially uh, if you're, you're running high boost situations, uh, the Banks intercooler is an outstanding idea. Turbo upgrades, uh, there's a bunch of them out there. We're gonna run real quick through that. Exhaust upgrades, gonna talk about that. Gauges, uh, a lot of people like to put gauges, like to know what their pyrometer temperature is, wanna know what their uh, boost is, trans temp. <coughs> And then injector upgrades. We'll briefly touch on injector upgrades and what you can expect. Now, the other area of, of upgrading that, that people like to do to these trucks is additional filtration. The Raycor fuel filter upgrade is additional protection for your injectors. The oil bypass system, basically the AMS oil uh, uh, bypass system is what we're going to show. The last thing here is the coolant filter. O-ring and cylinder head is probably the single best thing you can do to to help stabilize head gaskets. Basically the concept is, is that we're putting 40 thousandths stainless steel wire. The wire sticks up about 15 thousandths and this, when you, when you put the cylinder head on the engine, it bites into the gasket. Uh, we've had no head gasket failures uh, with the O-ringing uh, process, but the, the fact is, is that it works uh, and I give it to your warranty if you do this. The regulated return fuel system is probably one of the most significant upgrades that you can do to your six liter. So how this system works is that it comes up to the fuel bowl, the upper fuel bowl, with the original stock fuel line. So from the upper fuel bowl, it is distributed with ready steel lines to the fronts of the cylinder head. And then the fuel flows through the cylinder head out the back. And then from there, it's distributed it into the return, the regulator. Then from the regulator you have this kind of weird looking little line that goes back to the return. So the, so the big difference from a stock system is, is that in a stock system the fuel comes up to the fuel bowl, regulator, and then two lines come to the heads and then it's dead ended here. The idea here is, is that the fuel comes up here, it's distributed to both heads, but it flows through the heads back out and down. The, the fuel is constantly going around and around. It's constantly flowing and it's regulated past the cylinder head. Now this is, this may not seem like a big deal, but it's huge on a six liter. Fuel is fuel. In other words, of course, it's there to be burnt, but it does two other very, very important things for the injectors. Number one is lubrication, which is why we have to have additives with modern fuel. It's, it's a coolant. Remember now that the injector tip sits out in the combustion chamber, hottest of the hot. It's, it's right at the tip of that thing, is right out there in the heat all the time. The regulated return system cools the injector tips so the injectors live longer. Coolant bypass system. It's a very simple system. It's actually two hoses on the back of the heads that have been plumbed in back here. These are, of course, braided steel, nice stuff. And basically what happens is, is that we take the coolant from here and we bypass it back up here to the thermostat. As the water pump turns, your coolant really gets circulated across the back of the heads. Now, you got to understand, you got your exhaust manifolds and all this back here, and so these cylinders on the back of the motor, seven and eight, are the ones that always get damaged uh, be under, under hard loads because they're the ones that are the hottest. So this coolant bypass system is a wonderful upgrade to do 
at the time of bulletproofing because it ensures complete cooling of the rear cylinders. Uh, one of the best upgrades there is at a time of bulletproofing, since we already have it apart, is the Mishimoto aluminum radiator. Functional, it's shiny, and I like pretty shiny things. 30% better cooling, uh, fully welded aluminum radiator. I can't say enough about the benefits of going to the welded aluminum radiator. This is a Banks intercooler, fully welded intercooler. This is the factory intercooler. Again, we're talking plastic crap. Oh my god. Besides the fact that the fully welded intercooler is far more reliable, it's not going to fail on you like a plastic one. Uh, thermodynamic properties of transference of heat, okay, getting the heat out of that, that charged air system uh, is far greater with the bank system. You know, the factory turbocharger is an extremely good piece. Uh, regulated return system and uh, big intercooler will go a long way to increasing the efficiency of the stock turbocharger. I don't recommend it as one of the first things to do. I'd sell the regulated return system and the intercooler before I put the turbocharger on. Okay, exhaust systems. Okay, this is a, a true four inch system. Here's the deal. They do a wonderful job of keeping your turbocharger cool, but a Free-flowing exhaust system without back pressure will actually cost you a couple miles to gallon on a just a stock basic uh, uh, power stroke. Uh, gauge pillar, um, boost, trans temp, and pyrometer. If you're losing boost, you're losing uh, possibly have a, a uh, breach in any of the charge air cooler system. Maybe one of the boots went bad, so you'll have a loss of boost. Or it's actually an indirect uh, indicator of fuel pressure because if you're losing fuel pressure, you're not going to make fire and you're not going to make boost. Trans temp, I mean, you know, you don't want your transmission to get hot and keep an eye on it. The most significant gauge in the pack here is the pyrometer. This is plumbed into your exhaust system right here and keeps track of exhaust gas temperatures. You don't really want to do over uh, 1300 degrees sustained uh, push on your engine or else you'll start breaking pistons and burning things up. Uh, less is more with injectors. If you don't have a regulated return system on your truck and you've put injectors in, you wasted a boatload of money. And if you don't have this, if you're not delivering the fuel to your injectors, still aren't going to flow any more than what you supply. Personally, I think a good stock injector or mildly upgraded injector is the best investment with a regulated return system and a good tune. You'll be quite surprised with uh, the type of performance that you get out of your truck. Probably the single most popular upgrade that we have is the Raycor fuel system. You've got a water separator here so you can see the water, you can drain the water, and it will make the filter in the frame rail and up on top live significantly longer. Synthetic oil and the bypass filtration system helps to keep the oil clean in your truck. Last but not least is the sinister coolant filtration system. But I'll tell you what, I didn't really think much of coolant filters uh, the particulates in the coolant would end up as mud in the bottom of the oil cooler, severely restricting the oil cooler. So um, I became a believer in the bypass filtration system. Okay, we've got to do everything we can do to keep the coolant clean in this truck uh, to keep the coolant system working effectively. And last but not least, you know, to show the world that you've got your truck gorilla proofed, you got to hang some gorilla nuts off the back of it. There she is all put together. You got your Banks high ram, you got your sinister coolant filter here installed. Uh, you got your Amsoil bypass filtration system here. Uh, of course this is all your part of your Banks uh, intercooling system. Also got the uh, regulated return here on top. The coolest thing is this Mishimoto radiator. Look at this thing. It looks chrome plated. Custom made bracket here to make it all fit. This ladies and gentlemen is what a gorilla proof Power Stroke Ford 6 liter looks like. Just puts a tear in your eye, doesn't it? Important thing to understand about the pricing I'm going to talk about here is that these are all in addition to the bulletproofing. These are not the standalone prices to in install these things, okay? This is what we charge on top of the bulletproof cost. O Ring in the Heads is an $800 upgrade, but it comes with a two year unlimited mile warranty. Okay, as opposed to just the one year. So you're, you're getting more warranty with the O-ring upgrade. Regulated fuel return, parts and labor, $750 to install this system on your truck. This is a heck of a good deal uh, because it will make the injectors live for a very long time and it will increase fuel economy. 
Coolant bypass system is $400. It will keep the back cylinders of the engine cooler. The mission motor radiator is $525. There's no labor involved there. It's just the cost of the radiator and the shipping. The bank's intercooler system is expensive uh, because it includes the pipes and it includes the, the, the big red uh, uh, intake on top there. Mishimoto offers an intercooler that's about $600. So, so you're going to be somewhere in this range for this system depending on which one that you want. If your turbo's in good shape, uh, usually nine times out of ten what I find is, is that with a regulated return system and a stock set of injectors and good tuning you can achieve pretty much everything you want to. Exhaust upgrades. Exhaust uh, we usually like to put on is the Silver Line stainless steel systems, about $800. Uh, it's a middle of the road system. There's some that are cheaper, there's some that are more expensive. And whether you want duels or pipes or whatever, this price can increase. Gauges, exhaust gas temperatures, boost, trans temp, $325 for the gauges plus $280 to install them. Uh, injector upgrades is big money, uh, just the same idea as, as the turbo. Nine times out of ten we can achieve our goal that we're after uh, with just doing the regulated return system and tuning. So, uh, if, But if it's time for injectors uh, and you want to go uh, with a little bigger injector, uh, this would be a good time to do it. Down here at the end here is filtration. Probably should be at the top because it's some of the most important things. Uh, our most popular upgrade that we have uh, at Bulletproof Time is the Raycore system. It's an extra $350 that includes parts and labor to install uh, the Raycore uh, fuel system. Uh, oil bypass system and synthetic oil is a $600 upgrade. The oil is expensive. You know, I really only recommend the bypass system to folks that are on the road and can't stop every 5,000 miles to change your oil. It will keep your oil contamination to a minimum. The last one is probably one of the more important ones is the coolant filter, 150 bucks. Sinister Systems outstanding for that kind of money, uh, and we can do we can do all of these or part of these. It's just whatever options that you feel would best fit your need. Please give us a call at 770-931-4070. We would be happy to discuss this with you.